Hello, and welcome to RIARC. In Ireland, we tend to take nuns for granted. They've always been here, and they always will be here, in convents, in hospitals, and in schools. Tonight, in the first of two programmes, RIARC takes a look at the place and the image of the nun in the Ireland of today. It's been 45 years since that documentary piece called Are Nuns Human was aired and it looked into the role of nuns in society in 1971. So today I've come to the Redemptistine Monastery, not just to talk and see these nuns and see if they're human, but to see how far they've come. Sister Gabrielle, you have seen a lot of changes over the years. Tell us about the changes between when you started and now. When I entered now, you, everything was accepted in blind faith, so you wouldn't question anything. And the focus would have been on, you know, contemplation, prayer, and manual labor. Those were the big monastic criteria that were so important to life here. So over the years then, a big change came. You know, it was no longer acceptable not to be able to question and we had open debates on many issues, like even contraception in those days. The Vatican Council brought out the dignity of the human person, human development, the necessity of being able to speak to our world and listen to our world and find God in many other places. Sister Monica, you joined in 2008. When you said this to your friends, how did they react? Well, my friends were very supportive, but when they heard about contempt, they like, they're going to be, you're going to be away there from us. You're not going to be out and about with us, you know. But then when they realised, when I spoke to them about how I felt, they could understand where I was coming from. And my family came up to visit the sisters as well. Tell us about the altar bread making. We supply the Lenten bread to the country, we even supply as far as Australia. So it's amazing uh, how many people we reach out to, you know. Sister uh, Jacinta, what are you up to? Is this what you do on a daily basis? This is what I do on a daily basis. Every morning I start here about a quarter to nine. Everyone is checked individually so that they're not cracked when they go out and they're in good condition. I um, put them into the plastic bags have them and leave them ready then so there's big demand really on them I have to say yeah and I, I love the work now you didn't enter in the last week or two no I didn't I entered in 1947 wow. yes and life was very different then to what it is now I wonder when the scissors looked down from heaven what they think of us <laughs> now <laughs> sister Lucy thank you so much for having us here delighted you have a wonderful life and you're the prioress now but of course that didn't happen overnight. Well, I entered back uh, 10 years ago now in May, and I was uh, I trained to be a teacher in America, uh, in uh, Marymount Manhattan College. And when I came home, I was teaching in Ballyfermot. So in 2006, I, I entered. Before that, I resigned from my job, took a trip around the world, and um, entered on the 9th of May. You have a webcam, which is we have. which is very um, very up to date. Yes, um, and a Facebook page and a Twitter account. Yes, for us to connect with everybody, we need to do that through the social media. If we are to connect with the people who we want to connect with, and that's everybody really, to tell them that we live a life of prayer and that we hold their needs in our heart in prayer before God. That's our main charism and the main focus of our life. The Facebook page, uh, only in recent years, I think in 2012 we set it up. And if I see the stats kind of, kind of going down a bit low, I'll throw up a picture of the sisters. You know, I put up one last night with, uh, it's an old photo of myself and Sister Monica and Maura. We're on bikes. <laughs> and it has over 4,000, nearly 5,000 people have seen it already. Challenge. Oh, the ice hooker challenge. <laughs> we really enjoyed doing the ice hooker challenge. As you can see, there was more than one bucket used. <laughs> <laughs> there was. And I don't know if you got wet either. I didn't actually. I was genuinely sick. I had oh, bronchitis, but you sure. might say, well, yeah, you got off lightly. <laughs> we couldn't believe it went viral and like nine million hits like to watch this ice bucket challenge. It was just extraordinary. I think what came across the most was our joy. You know, we had great fun. I think we would have stayed out longer when it started raining. <laughs>
Now, the 1971 documentary, Are Nuns Human? Um, how do you react to a title like that now in this society? Years ago, there was uh, th this thing about, uh, you know, particular friendships, that you couldn't have friendships with one another in the community. You know, we love all the sisters in the community, and we have great crack. We really do. We have, we're a happy community. There'll be ups and downs, of course, like any family. So, you know, we're very, very human and we do human things, you know, and we chat and we talk about one another's families and maybe the pain going on there or somebody that has asked us for prayers. So there couldn't be anything possible, another word to say that we're so human. We're just, just like yourselves, you know? And as time I come to, let us bless them.